It's another edition of the wrap up show with John Schaefer and Jim Russell. We're presented by Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance. Today's topic Does Fran Mil Reyes want to return to the San Diego Padres? Before we get into that, remember to subscribe. You got to subscribe. We have year round exclusive Padres content. You see Jim pointing to the subscribe button down below. There's a notification bell as well. So every time we post videos, we're posting three or more per week, even during this lockout. You'll be notified when we have new videos. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer at Jim Russell SD and like these videos as well. Before we get going, Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance is a huge Padres fan. He can help you save $440 on your insurance this year. If you support this channel, please consider going with Mark Nimitz for your auto, home, runners, or life insurance needs. He's a San Diegan. He can save you $440. He can save you money if you have an electric vehicle. He's got great customer service and communication. He's got over a decade of experience. There is a link down below. Please click it. If you have insurance needs, he can help you and your family with those here in 2022. And his information is above my head, phone number, and his email address, mnimitz at farmersagent.com. When you reach out to him, let him know that the wrap-up show, John and Jim, they sent you. So there are some hints, Jim, and I don't even know if they're hints. <laughs> they're not really Easter eggs, but there are some hints that Fremil Reyes might have an interest in returning to the San Diego Padres if you're a follower of his on social media. So let's start with what happened on Twitter, and this happened this weekend. Fremil Reyes liked a tweet on Twitter from the East Village Times about the Padres trading Eric Hosmer. That's somewhat interesting. Why would Fremil Reyes, from his official account, Like a tweet, there it is, the Padres need to trade Eric Osmer from the East Village (laughs) Times. He liked that. Now, there's some (laughs) other indicators on Instagram as well. What's going on with Framil right now on social media, Jim? So he posted a picture of him and Machado um, from when he was with the Padres on his Instagram account. And then the other day, he posted a picture and part of the caption was hungry for more. We all know that's the was the Padres slogan the last couple of years. And then this just kind of blew up today on Padres Twitter that Fran Mill Reyes liked a a post about trading Eric Hosmer. Now, who knows? He has two more years of uh, arbitration left with the Indians before he could become a free agent. I say the likelihood of of him coming back to the Padres anytime soon is probably close to zero, (laughs) but it wouldn't, I mean, he still is knows all these all these players. He's still really good friends with Tatis. He knows everybody. It would, of course, he probably wants to return. And I think it's just funny because you know what's the main sentiment with us and a lot of Padres fans? Trade. They need to trade Eric Hosmer, and he likes a post about trading Eric Hosmer. I just thought it was pretty funny. I mean, it's unbelievably funny. I mean, it's almost like he's a Padres fan because most Padres fans would be liking tweets like that. And here's Fran Mill liking that tweet. Now, remember, a lot of Padres fans, and I think a lot of people that cover this team, were very critical of the trade that A.J. Preller made on the deadline day of 2019. This guy's a fan favorite. He's a right-handed hitter that would really work well in the DH era. We didn't know about the pandemic. We didn't know there'd be a universal DH literally the next season. He could have benefited the Padres in 2020. And who knows about 2022? Most people think there will be a universal DH. But last year, Jim, he hit 30 home runs. And that OPS of 846, exactly what the Padres need. We've been talking about Nelson Cruz. We're talking about, is it going to be Luis Campusano? Who's going to fill in DH? We're talking, we're talking about outfielders. They could use a corner outfielder. He plays right field. Of course, he DHs in the American League. But, I mean, Fran Reyes really possesses some of the skill set that the Padres are desperately needing heading into this upcoming season. So it's it, it's just curious. I'm with you. I mean, just because he likes tweets doesn't mean that all of a sudden he's available to the Padres. Like you said, he's under contract for the next two years. I think out of all the trades that Preller has made in the last three seasons – um, this was probably by far the biggest whiff of them all. Would you agree? I I, I think you look at the, the way that this trade broke down. It was a part of a three-team deal. Then they got Taylor Trammell, and then they flipped Taylor Trammell to Seattle yep. for that Austin Nola package. And then Fran Mill is one of the best DHs in the American League. I, I just think... 
huge fan favorite. He was huge in that clubhouse. We saw what it did in that clubhouse once he got traded. Um, I, I would argue of uh, not all the moves that Preller has made in his tenure as GM, but th- it, if you're ranking like his moves that have backfired the most, this has to go towards the top, right? Um, I think it would be towards the top. I'm thinking back to the deal you mentioned, that Tremel deal. Uh, that also sent Ty France, didn't it? <laughs> no, Ty so, France was um, – that was 2020. That was 2020, but so was tr- – no, I thought Trem- – Tremel was in 2019, and then they flipped him in 2020. So when they traded away Fran Mill, that um, was the final year of Andy Green. Right, but wasn't and, I'm sorry, but wasn't wasn't um, France part of the Tremel Mariners for Nola deal in 2020? Ty France, came, Ty France was coming up from the with the Padres. <laughs> I think we're talking about the th- same thing, but didn't didn't Ty France get traded with Taylor Tremel? Oh, you're right. To you're right. Seattle okay. for yeah, us yeah, yeah, Nola. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah so Ty, Ty France went to Seattle with Taylor Tremel. I was yep. talking about just Taylor Tremel's gone. Yep. So that deal were for Fran Mil Reyes, complete whiff one of the biggest whiffs Preller's ever had as the general manager of the Padres. You traded away a guy who is a bona fide 30 to 40 home run dude that has an OPS career over 800. He is a perfect DH, perfect for the clubhouse, fan favorite. It just was a massive miss. And it and the more you think about this trade and the more you think about Fran Mill being on this team and even a guy like Ty France, you're just thinking like, man, you replace, you could put, if, if Ty France and Fran Mill Reyes were, st- were still here. You you got a lot of problems fixed. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, where are you putting Fran? I mean, offensively is fixed. Yeah, I'm putting France at first. I'm putting Fran Mill as my DH or my right fielder, and I've fixed my offense, really. I mean, maybe I still need an outfielder, but by and large, my offense is a lot is a lot better. Mm-hmm. For nothing. And you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money for a guy like Nick Castellanos or Chris Bryant or I don't know, Nelson Cruz would only to probably get a one year deal, but still yep. it's gonna cost around ten to fifteen million. Yep. So yeah, yeah I mean you make it. a good point. I mean, listen, the, the trades that Preller made in an effort to potentially, I don't know what the right word is, maybe steal a World Series in twenty twenty was such a weird year. I mean, it was yeah. such a weird year, and they were playing good baseball, and we didn't fault him at the time, and I still won't. I mean, going all in the Clevenger deal, getting a catcher, they hadn't had a catcher in ten years. They thought Austin Nola would be pretty valuable. I mean, they made other moves. They acquired a closer in Trevor Rosenthal. He had like nine new big leaguers on his team on the other side of the deadline. The issue is some of those trades have backfired. And going back even a year earlier, I'm with you on Fran Mill Reyes. It was a head scratcher at the time. And the way we justified it, the way I think a lot of people justified it, I don't know about you, the way I justified it was, well, he's a DH. And the National League doesn't have a DH and the CBA isn't up for years. But then there was a DH the next year. Um, right. And now you look at the lack of power the Padres have in their corners, you know, and, and even without the DH, like why not just plug him into right field? Well, people would say, well, Will Myers is in the middle of his deal. Um, but Fran Mil Reyes had value and still does. I mean, he really did have a nice year. He And he has, he's got an amazing skill set for a DH. It's not as good, obviously, for an outfielder because he doesn't have all the skills necessary to maybe plug him in 150 times. I'm sure that's, what the Padres thought, but man, if you could redo that deal and get him back, the Padres probably would have been a better team each of the last two years and probably would be a better team in 2022 as well. Absolutely. And, and this, us talking about the, the Fran meal trade, and we're also talking about Preller hopefully making some more moves. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should pump the brakes because his track record's not great. <laughs> like we're talking about a lot of moves that he has made that are not good. And yet we still want him to make more moves, maybe slow down a little bit. And because, you know, the, the, the Mackenzie Gores of the world and the Robert Hassels and the CJ Abrams and the Campusanos, we've been talking about those guys a lot, potentially getting, uh, I don't know, Matt Olson or, mm-hmm. who, or whoever else it may be to fix this power issue uh, with the Padres. Maybe we should stop Preller from doing it, (laughs) like because um, it's not worked out well, like at all. And the Fran Mill Reyes trade will go down as one of uh, one of the one of his worst trades he has ever he's made as the Padres general manager, in my opinion. 
Yeah, like what's the worst trade of Preller's tenure? Chat down below if it isn't the Fran Mill Reyes deal. I mean, the Mike Clevenger deal. Now, the jury's still out because Clevenger's going to come back. Nobody knew he was going to get hurt. The reason why I say it's Fran Mill is because that trade is is not already complete, but like the webs of that trade getting yeah. getting Taylor Trammell and then you flip Taylor Trammell. So you get you got nothing out of him. And then you also got rid of Ty France with Taylor Trammell. And mm-hmm. then you got in Austin Nola, who, to be real here, he's done nothing, right? Mm-hmm. It's just, and you got Austin Adams, who set a record last year for hitting pit people on. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that whole web of trade from just the Fran Mill trade has turned out to be pretty bad. Pretty bad. It's interesting you say, though, like maybe slow down on the trades heading into 2022. And I don't disagree. I, I kind of agree with you. But if you don't make trades and if you're tied up in salary, which they very well may be, we don't know. We've thrown out names like Castellanos and Brian and Suzuki and Cruz and many others, many others, Schwarber. But if they're tied up in salary, which is possible, like we don't want them to spend. But what if they're tied up in salary and what if they don't? pull off a move to trade Nara Cosmer or Will Myers, then they're kind of running it back. Um, there's big question marks, especially if there's a DH in the National League. They won 79 games last year. Now we could just say, well, blame Jace Tingler for the second half collapse. But, I mean, how, how confident do you feel heading into 2022? Bob Melvin is a boost, but from 79 to contending for a division without any sizable changes – would you feel confident that they'd be in a position of hanging around with the Dodgers and or the Giants in the middle of September in 2022? Uh, do I think they could hang with the Dodgers and Giants? Maybe not the – to be honest with you, the, the the players the Dodgers and Giants have lost, that's a lot. <laughs> Buster that's Posey, yeah. Kevin Gosman, Max Scherzer, yep. Corey Seager, Clayton Kershaw, potentially t- Kenley Jansen, Chris Bryant. Mm-hmm. That is a <laughs> These are big lot. names. Those are mm-hmm. huge names. And the Padres have not lost anybody. They've actually gained people coming back from injury, like Mike Clevenger. And you're going to get you Darvish and you're going to have Blake Snell healthy, you know, for a full year. And so they haven't lost anybody in the division. Um, do I think they can contend with them with just the roster it is now? Yeah, I'm cautious on that. I think they need more. I think they need another power bat. But I do have more faith that they could do it with Bob Melvin as manager than if they had Jace Tingler. Yeah, and I wouldn't. No, be, I, I wouldn't. Be, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did hang around with the Dodgers and Knights. Like I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. No, I. You know what? I think a lot of Padres fans feel similarly to you. Although I do think there's a lot of fans and. And those that cover the team that say, you know, they're going to need a little more, right? I mean, the, the fact mm-hmm. that we've had all this discussion this offseason, whether it's free agency or via trade. Um, and listen, I agree with you. Like you, you were saying earlier this week on the wrap up show. Buster Posey's also gone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were saying, though, like, listen, Nick Castellanos isn't going to be the difference between winning a, a World Series or not in all likelihood, right? Um, Chris Bryant isn't going to be the difference between winning a World Series. These are huge pieces, they are big additions, but. It's not everything. I mean, they're going to need health in their rotation. They'll need a closer. They need a DH. Uh, they could need an additional corner outfielder, even if they sign a corner outfielder or a first baseman. Bench so help. it's not like I'm with you. Like you, if you put all the eggs in one player basket, it's not like that could be. The, it could be the difference, but there's a good chance it's not the difference between winning and losing a division or a World Series. And it goes back to the point of this video. Fran Mill Reyes still should be a Padre. And if he was a lot of problems would be solved right now. Who wants Fran Mill back? Comment down Everybody. below. Is there anyone that doesn't? I mean, who wants Fran Mill back? Please comment down below. Fran Mill Reyes liking tweets and commenting on Instagram about his time with the Padres and liking a tweet about Eric Hosmer from the East Village Time about the Padres' need to trade Eric Hosmer. All right, we're with you again all off-season long, getting into 2022. This lockout's going to end, and we are your year-round exclusive home for Padres content. If you want that, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. You'll be notified when we have new videos. Like these videos and follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer, at Jim Russell SD. Check out our new radio show, by the way, Extra 1360 in San Diego, 3 to 6, every single weekday. You can listen to that on the free iHeartRadio app where we are talking Padres year-round. For Jim, 
I'm John. This has been the Wrap-Up Show presented by Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance.